Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. A 37-year-old Alberta man who threatened a WestJet flight in October of 2014 will spend just shy of a year in prison. Michael Howells was apparently running late for his flight to Fort McMurray from Kelowna International Airport, which prompted him to make a threatening phone call. A provincial judge sentenced Howells to 347 days in jail and a victim surcharge of $100. He will be placed on two years probation following his release. About 100 residents of Penticton marched downtown toward Gyro Park in Unity to promote safety for women at nighttime. Participants brought in flashlights and glow sticks as well as made banners and signs to support either taking back the night or supporting a lost loved one. It's, uh, it's just an opportunity where we all come together and we march because so often, as you're probably aware of, women do um, fear walking out at night and that we shouldn't have to. Uh, we go out in couples or we go out in numbers and, uh, and it's unfair. So once a night or once a year, we come out and we march together. Premier Christy Clark was in Kelowna this week for two different announcements, both set to an educational tone. On Thursday, the new $35 million trades training complex at Okanagan College officially opened. The province contributed $28 million towards the project, which took four years to complete, while the college is still in the process of fundraising the other $7 million. Clark announced a million new job openings in BC, of which 800,000 will be in trades, which is good news for the approximate 2,400 students who will graduate through the Trade Centre each year. Then on Wednesday, the $15 million Okanagan Mission Secondary School expansion was considered complete. It includes 11 classrooms and a full-size gym and created 300 new student spaces to increase the school's capacity to just over 1,000. Many residents near Lake Avenue Access Beach, also known as Mushroom Beach, are opposing a recent council decision to run a two-year trial at the beach for a dog park. Residents believe the beach is a bad venue for the park as the area is very busy in the summertime. We don't have enough parking in this area. It's already packed with people that come down to use the beach. The people that use the beach shows that there's purpose for this beach already and I don't understand why somebody would take something away that already has purpose. Two other parks have also been approved for trial. However, the parks won't be a sure thing until funds will be created and approved in the 2017 budget. It looked like a scene of terror at Kelowna International Airport this week, but in fact, the flames and explosions were all part of a live emergency exercise that takes place once every four years. More than 20 different agencies work together to conduct the drill to work out the airport's emergency plan. The greatest thing that always comes up in exercise is communications. So this has allowed us to, uh, to have those agencies have that inter-agency uh, dialogue so that as we get to the response, like today, uh, that a lot of the uh, groundwork has already been done. A group of UBCO students played the parts of injured passengers in the incident. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching.